Welcome to our promo video. My name is Zheng Yuwu, the co-author of this presented publication. The key for scalable GNNs to success in a recent study contribute to the decoupled design of the feature propagation. Propagated feature can be acquired from the diverse perspective, and part of it is the unified graph propagation equation composed of the propagation op operators. However, most existing GNNs employ fixed rules that treat all nodes equally, overlooking the uniqueness of each node during the propagation. To better illustrate the motivation of our work, we present our empirical studies on how the fixed propagation will impact the node's predictions. We classify nodes with degree less than or equal to 3 and 5 as the low-degree nodes, while others as the high-degree nodes to reflect their connectivities. Next, we apply different propagation operators combined with a three-layer SGC to evaluate the node's predictive performance across the two datasets. Empirical studies yield two key observations. First, in the large-scale database, densely connected community and intricate topological structures often lead to the mispredictions on high-degree nodes. Second, different choice of the kernel coefficients in the propagation operators results in the varied performances. Based on these three, these two observations, we propose ATP with two main objectives. First, to mitigate the negative impact of the high bias propagation on high degree nodes in a large scale graph. Second, to capture the local nodes context more effectively, we introduce an adaptive mechanism to select the kernel coefficients based on the unique topological information of each node. Now, let's work through the overall pipeline of our message. After the initialization, we proceed to the step two, the mass correction step. This step aims to reduce the connectivity of the high degree nodes, mitigating the negative impact of the high bias propagation as indicated by our empirical studies. It also enhances the convergence efficiency by increasing the convergence upper bound. In step three and four, we encode the node L and C in the wave-free manners, focusing on the node's connectivity and position. Finally, we aggregate the results obtained from the step 3 and 4 to acquire the optimized kernel coefficient. This coefficient is then integrated into the node-wise propagation operator. It is worth noting that ATP serve as the plug-and-play optimization strategy enhancing the unified graph propagation equation independently of the graph learning process. Due to the time constraints, we we'll only present part of our experimental results in this slide, highlighting the ATP as the plug-and-play technique to enhance the performance of the decouple-based methods. Notably, ATP demonstrated that the most significant performance boost on the large-scale graph thanks to the effectiveness of our mass correction mechanism. Table 3 illustrates that ATP yields the most competitive results compared to the other MP optimization strategies. The highlighted section showcases the results obtained by combining the ATP with other MP optimization strategy, demonstrating that our methods can harmoniously coexist with the existing methods to further enhance the performance of the scalable GNNs. Thank you for watching our promo video and I wish you for a wonderful day.